well, we're making it in 2022, or at least we will be once we get through this show. Right now, let's proceed to race number seven of week 15's Men's Division Tie Team Play. And for race number seven, we have the Cheryl Atwell, Eric Crosby, and Durant Hill. They'll be taking on Buster DeJavo and Zachary Carmelo. So, off to the sapphire, of course. <clears throat> and by the way, if you make any New Year's resolutions, just let us know. Right now, let's proceed to this space. Who's going to win? We're about to find out right now. Let's rock this place! Alright, so Eric and Duran take on Buster and Zachary in this race, and it looks like Eric Crosby, yeah, he decided to go to rest. So he'll be right behind in the competition. Right now, it looks like Buster Jumbo has the lead, and he is going to rest. That means number seven will have command of the lead, but it won't be too long. Duran Hill now has command of the lead, as Buster Jumbo trying to get the lead back after going to rest, will start the speed rest for this race. And the shout out for Eric Crosby is getting straight in last place behind number seven as he climbs up for dear life. And here comes Buster the Jabo making a pass from the Van Hill as he opens this one up with back to back spears. He got back the lead thanks to back to back spears. Great strategy so far for Buster the Jabo. Now let's do hope he'll defend the lead this time around. As the Sheriff Outlaw, Eric Crosby, will get the next command yes, Buster Jamal is indeed going to hold on for the victory. Durant Hill will not be able to find a hole to get back to lean in time. As Zachary Carmelo takes the next beamers, Buster Jamal and Zachary Carmelo prevail over Eric Crosby and Durant Hill. So now there are three wins for the season. They're above 500 as of right now. Good chance they might come back next season. Yep, let's hope for the very best when they, when they wait their cut. Coming up, we got more science for you, but first have a look at this.